Hello, students. Today, we're going to explore the random class, which is used to generate random numbers. We saw that we could use the random method in math in the math class to do this, but the random class is better to work with in most cases. Uh, this can be particularly useful for games and simulations and any situation where you will get unpredictable results. So let's dive in. Introduction to the random class. The random class is part of the java.util package, and it provides methods to generate random numbers, so random integers, random numbers, including integers, doubles, and booleans, many more. Um, to use the random class, you need to create an instance of it using the new keyword. So first, make sure you import the random class at the beginning of your code. So import your random class, import java.util.random, notice it's capital R. Random class. Random class is capitalized. Capitalized. Okay. Um, so next, let's create an instance of a random class. Okay. We got random. The class name. We're going to call the variable random, or whatever you want to be variable. And it equals a new random class. Here's a new instance of uh, uh, here's a new instance of a random object made from the random class. There's our constructor by default. Default constructor. So we're going to generate random numbers. Here are some common methods that are provided by the random class. The first, uh, random integers. To generate a random integer, we would use the next int method. So that looks like this. So int random int equals random dot next int. Click in the output line and we'll print out images. So let's see what we get. Creating my random class. Random integer, there it is. Woo, big one. All right, to generate a random integer within a specific range, we can use the next int, but give it a specific number. And it will generate numbers from zero up until that number. So just right before. So for example, if I were to let's see what we did before, but instead of leaving it empty, I will use 10. So this generates a number between 0 and 9 because we have the number 10 here. It starts with 0 and goes to 9. And so that I'll put 9 and everything. So to uh, so that random doubles to generate a random double between zero and one to one zero inclusive and one exclusive so zero and up until one um, use the next double method A range and we have a random number. Zero, zero inclusive one exclusive. To generate a random Boolean, we use the next Boolean method. Uh, so let's put it all together in a simple program. So we'll create an instance of the random class and we'll um, generate a random integer. 
or generate random integer between zero and nine, generate random, integer, random double between zero point zero inclusively and one point oh exclusively, and generate a boolean. So we did multiple times or whatever. So in summary, the random class in Java is a powerful tool for generating random numbers and values. By creating an instance of the random class and using its methods, you can generate random integers, doubles, booleans, and more to suit your programming needs. Keep experimenting with the random class to see what you can create. One of my favorite things. One of my favorite things to do is to actually uh, change the C. There's some other methods in the random class. Let's let me show what I mean by this. So when you create your random object, if you tell it a number, if you give it a number to start with a C so it can grow from there. Uh, let's see what happens when I run this now. Okay. Let's see if I run it again. So again, that's weird. It's just random. Well, it is still random, but it's starting from the same point every time, so therefore it's not truly random, right? Um, if you don't put a seed, it is choosing a seed based off of your computer and how it makes a decision. Um, but this way, if you want to simulate the same thing over and over again, you'll be able to see. So we'll just say, so uh, happy coding, and don't just have any random job. You want to make sure that's the code there, okay? Nothing looks great. 